A night out turned deadly for one man in the San Fernando Valley. He was killed just outside of Van Nuys Bar. CBS 2's Joy Benedict is live with that investigation. Joy? Yeah, Sharon, Jeff, certainly a very sad situation as we have learned that one person lost their life here. It was here in front of this very small strip mall. You can see business is back to usual today, but a young man by the name of Julio Rodriguez lost his life here late last night. An alarming scene in Van Nuys as police respond to a shooting outside a neighborhood bar. With guns drawn, they weren't sure what to expect. This morning, stores opened up. Not sure what this means for them. This put us out, you know, because it's usually it was a pretty nice area, quiet, you know, and we just love to work here. Raul Rodriguez manages Lido Pizza in front of where the shooting took place. They were closed at the time, but he says he's saddened by the outcome. The person who lost the life, you know, that's put us out because it, he can't get it back. Investigators say patrol officers in the area heard the shots around 11:30 Sunday night. When they arrived, they found two men injured. In the chaos, they carried one man across the street, hoping to get him treated, but paramedics were unable to save him. The second man was taken to the hospital, and the suspect, who fired multiple shots, took off on foot. Police say they have security video from the bar, which was open at the time, but they are unsure whether the incident started inside. We know it's a bar, you know, and. Just like, but I never hear any problems. The man who died, Julio Rodriguez, was only 33. And those living and working in the area say today their thoughts are with his family. I hope they catch the person, you know, and so I hope everything gets solved. That's what everybody's hoping for out here. Now, that second man who was taken to the hospital, his condition is unknown, but police tell me he is expected to survive. They do have a very brief description of the suspect who took off on foot, but of course, police are looking for any information that any witnesses had, and they are hoping they will come forward. Guys.